Good evening. Welcome to the Usha Research Institute. Today we're going to take time out to clarify much of the misconceptions and misunderstanding about healing and nutrition. The Usha Research Institute has selected Dr. Sebi, your brother and servant, to come and deliver this message because there seem to be a little bit of problem with many of us that are looking for health and nutrition. We have visited many philosophies. We have visited the Ayurvedic, the yin yang, the macrobiotic, the allopathic, and the homeopathic. It seems as though we are running around in circles. So we took time out to clarify that which has been made difficult to understand or complex. Today our talk, our lecture, and this particular segment is called the reconnection. Reconnection to what? The reconnection to life. It has now been 400 years since society has been introducing a particular method of healing that have yet to complement us in a way that we would like for it to afford us. But as we all know, that everything begins and ends with God, the Creator. So one could easily see or understand that if God is the Creator, of the universe, then it behooves us to understand those things that are made by God. That seemed to be some difficulty for many because when we believe that the milk of a cow, an animal, is sufficient to afford nutrition to a human body, then one has to question that, because I am not an animal. That's common sense, I think. Animals produces milk for animal babies. Human beings, women, females, produces milk for human babies. But something happened to us that we elect to do just the opposite. Instead of us giving our babies the milk of a female human, we elect and chose to give our children the milk of an animal. I think that if we are to be scientific, intelligent, and lowest on the strata, to use our common sense, is there something wrong with that? And then, to compound the problem, is that the animal that we selected to afford us this milk is an animal that was made through the process of hybridization, an animal that is God-less. God did not make a cow. You see why we are titling this subject as the reconnection? How many of you sitting in the audience understood that or knew that? 
Well, I suspect that many of you doesn't. Why? Because in 1985, which is approximately 17 years ago, the Usha Research Institute took a position and showed the public of New York on WLIB that carrots are artificial. Because they are artificial, they are unable to deliver the nutrition that one is looking for because it is hybrid. You see, to understand nutrition, one has to use only those substances that are electrical. And the only substance on this planet that are electrical are the products that came with creation. Carrots didn't. Beets, rice, beans, wheatgrass, wheat. All these things are hybrid plus much more. So what we are noticing is that there is gross misinformation when it relates to healing and nutrition. Because if in 1985, we didn't know that carrots was artificial, what else exists that we are unaware of? Well, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, there's much more. The reconnection does not allow for inconsistencies to prevail. For instance, if one is cosmically connected, meaning connected to the dictates of God Almighty, the, crea the Creator, one would never allow oneself to indulge in something other than those things that are of creation and Creator. You see, the things that God created from the milk of a bison to the honey of a bee to the substance of a burdock plant and the kalawala, which is one of the most powerful plants in the world, these plants are electrical, opposed to comfrey, opposed to aloe vera, ginseng, rose hips, and vitamins. You see, the difference is one is electrical, one is non-electrical. And the non-electrical contains what? Starch as a base. So you see, in the reconnection, we find that we begin to clarify much of the inconsistencies. We go into this little other part that is most unnecessary. In the year of 19... 85, the Usha Research Institute placed an ad in the Village Voice, the Amsterdam News, and the New York Post that AIDS has been cured by the Usha Research Institute. And we specialize in cures for sickle cell, lupus, herpes, blindness, cancer, insanity, impotence, and others. When the Attorney General saw this ad, he could not, under any circumstances, 